Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get super real about sex, dating, life and love and everything in between. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips on how to flirt with a girl to get her attention every single time. Now, despite what you've been taught, you definitely should leave the cheesy pickup lines on the internet. How you doing? Do not try using any of them on a woman. We have probably heard whatever it is you're going to use on us before. I know I've heard a ton of cheesy pickup lines in my time and it just makes you come off sleazy. So stick to actually being really genuine, just being yourself and being just relaxed and natural and not pre-rehearsed and you're going to have a lot more success with a woman. Now, women are used to having men comment on our bodies and for the most part, it can feel quite intimidating and creepy. Despite what you might think in terms of it being a compliment, most women don't like having a guy that we don't know particularly well tell us that we have a nice ass or that we look really sexy. But it is still nice to receive compliments about our appearance. So how can you deliver a compliment that's not going to come across sleazy or creepy? Well, the best thing you can do is stick to more kind of safe features. So comment on her eyes, comment on her smile, even comment on her laugh, or you can comment on her great taste in fashion. A lot of guys have come up to me and commented on the fact that they love my haircut because it's a little bit different and that always catches my attention. I am much more likely to talk to a guy who's given me a nice compliment about my haircut than a guy that comes up to me and tells me I look really sexy or I have a nice ass which just feels a little bit intimidating and full on. So keep it really safe. Compliment on something like the fact she has really cool nails, um, the cool accessory she has in her hair. Those sort of things are really not intimidating and we enjoy a compliment as women. So stick to that and you will do well. Now it's probably no secret that women love a guy with a sense of humor and that's for good reason because when a guy shows a sense of humor, it essentially shows us that you could be a fun person to hang out with, someone who can make us feel good when we're around you. We don't want to spend our time with someone who's boring and serious and stuck up. So letting your sense of humor shine is a really great way to flirt with a girl. You can very playfully tease her on certain qualities about herself, or you can use self-depreciating humor. Self-depreciating humor is really good because you're taking yourself down a peg which makes you look more humble and you're not going to leave her feeling attacked and it's just a nice way of showing her that you know you don't take yourself too seriously and that is going to be very alluring to her. Now a great way to flirt and find out if you're in with a chance is to very subtly ask if she is already seeing someone or in a relationship. It is a really subtle way of letting her know that you're interested in her in that way, but it also means you can stop wasting your time. If she turns out to be in a relationship, you can move on to someone else. Now, the best way to do that is to simply ask a really casual question like, so do you have any plans with your boyfriend this weekend? And then just let her answer, oh, actually I don't have a boyfriend. And then you, you know, you can decide how you react to that. You might like to say something like, oh, okay, well, lucky me then, or something very subtle like that, just to give her that little hint that you are interested in her as more than a friend. Now, this one might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised by how many people don't do this thing, and it pretty much makes the difference between being a successful flirt and failing miserably at flirting, and that is to simply smile, which is something that we so often forget to do. Smiling shows her that you're having 
fun, that this is a positive, light-hearted interaction. It lets a woman walk away with positive feelings about you. And smiling can make even the most average looking person look super attractive. Smiling is something I've mentioned before in these dating advice videos as being an incredibly, incredibly underrated but highly attractive quality in a person. I smile pretty much all the time in my videos for that very reason. It's a lot less intimidating and it makes someone seem so much more approachable. So no matter what you're talking about, try to keep a smile on your face and she's gonna feel more relaxed with you. She's gonna feel more positive around you and the flirtation will just flow a lot more comfortably. Now, one of the most important factors of flirting and something that really helps a woman to see that you are most definitely flirting with her is to incorporate very small, subtle amounts of touch. And the reason for doing that is it basically breaks down that barrier that you would just have having a nice conversation with someone on the, someone on the street and just makes things a little bit more intimate. So she can start to think of you in a more intimate way. But you want to keep it super subtle. You want to keep it super quick because this woman is just getting to know you. You're not in a comfortable zone with her yet. It can come across super creepy if you touch her for too long or if you touch her in the wrong ways. Do it correctly though and she will be going home thinking all about you and all the other ways that she would like you to touch her. Now my top two recommendations for a way to touch a woman when you're flirting with her are the arm, particularly the forearm. It's a great spot to just quickly reach out and touch during a conversation and then pull away. I like to do it when I'm in the middle of a joke. If I'm telling someone a joke and I get to the punchline and I burst out laughing, I will just gently touch them on the arm and say, I'm glad you found that funny and then pull my hand away. It's nice and quick and it's also broken down that touch barrier, but it's done it in a fairly safe space. You're not wanting to touch anywhere overly intimate on her body. Now, if you're getting to know her a little bit better, you can go to a slightly more intimate place and you can quickly touch her on the knee. Now, this only works if you're sitting. So let's say you're both sitting at a bar. Again, you use the exact same technique that you would use with the forearm touch. Do it during the middle of a joke and just quickly put your hand on her knee and then pull it straight away. So that essentially it's only there for a couple of seconds. That means she doesn't have time to feel uncomfortable. It just allows her to think of you in that way as something more than just a friend. Speaking of breaking down barriers, if you want to flirt, you need to be closing the actual physical distance between the two of you. Now, you definitely don't want to do this when you start the conversation because that is definitely going to come across creepy and intimidating. But if the conversation is flowing and going well and she's giving you lots of great feedback, like she's smiling back at you, she's laughing at your jokes, she's touching you back on the forearm, then what you want to do is to just very slowly and very subtly close the distance between you. That means that if you're standing next to each other, just take a step closer to her. If you're sitting next to her, pull your chair in closer to her at the bar. By closing that gap down, you're essentially moving the gap from a, a distance that you would have between you and just a regular person that you would be chatting to on the street and the distance that you would have between you and someone that you see in a much more intimate way. And finally, show some interest in her. Showing interest in a woman by asking her questions about things she tells you is a great and very underrated way to flirt. So usually when we talk to people, we'll just exchange basics like, hey, how are you? How's your day? How's the weather? And that's pretty much it. If someone goes further and keeps asking more specific questions about you and your life, that's showing an interest in you and that is definitely a form of flirting. So when she tells you that she just got a new job, be excited for her. Ask her about the job. Ask her 
how what the job interview process was like ask her when she starts and if she's nervous for her first day maybe even ask her if she wants some tips or some advice for handling the first day by doing that you're just taking that extra bit of interest that most people aren't going to take in her and that is going to be, make her start thinking of you in her mind as something much more than just a regular acquaintance. So you can go and try these tips out on anyone. You can actually even practice them out on people you're not attracted to. If you've watched my video on how to build confidence, you'll know that one of the things I recommend is to actually, as weird as it sounds, flirt with everyone. It's really good practice. I'm a big flirt. I flirt with everyone I talk to. And it means that when I'm really attracted to someone that I actually want something more with, I don't feel nervous or intimidated because I've already practiced flirting with everyone. So it starts to become a lot less of a big deal. So flirt with the person at the supermarket, flirt with the person that serves you your coffee. It's not going to come across sleazy if you're just using those tips I told you, like making them laugh, taking an interest in them, touching them on the forearm. These are all also just things you can do to be a really good communicator and conversationalist. They don't cross any sort of major lines and they will just allow people essentially to have a more positive view of you. So they also work actually great for networking in the career world. So go away, practice them and then come back here and let me know how you go. I would love to hear. And of course, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos because I'm here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday delivering dating, sex and love advice as much as I possibly can to you guys. All right, that is all for this week, guys. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.